we should be getting back, really. Mm, got something in writing about the uh, party? Yeah, yeah, I've got your details. And if you do change your mind about that, drink. <laughs> I just lost my nerve. I knew I'd gone out there and all. I feel like a right burke. Well, you'll see him again soon, won't you, to talk about the party and that? Mm. Don't know what he's going to think about me now, though, after this. I can't see this putting him off, can you? Hello. You're up early. <coughs> what? Oh, it's only quarter to four. Could you not sleep? Have you not got any smoky bacon? Tell you what, I'll uh, nip up the road for some for you. How many packs would you like? Ooh, uh, a couple of jumbo packs should do it. I do with it. I do salt it. Hey. I've been speaking to Andrea. You do know she's barely keeping red above water running streetcars while lights away. Was Eileen not helping her? Well, yes, but this is your mess they're trying to sort out. You know, she's told him and he's gone absolutely ape. Is that it? Is that all you've got to say? Yeah. No, I'm not very crunchy. He was just there on his bike. Well, why did you leave him on his own anyway? But the phone rang. It was your mum saying they were leaving the airport. All right, so you thought you'd stop and have a nice long chat about her holiday? Well, I... I couldn't have been gone more than a minute. Yeah, well, it's still long enough for him to go missing, isn't it? OK, let's all just calm down, shall we? He's probably uh, in the Ginorta by the cat. No, no, I had a quick scout around. I couldn't see him anywhere. Uh, Luke, have you seen Max? No. Why? Right, you check Viaduct Street. I'll do Rosmond and Victoria. You stay here in case he comes back. How long ago did this happen? Not five minutes ago. OK, well, he can't have got far. Uh, Luke, will you give us a shout if you see him, yeah? Yeah. OK, go on. See, this is what happens when you've been in a long-term relationship. If you get out of flirt. I felt like riding a bike. What? Stuck with the same person all the time? Mm. Lose your sparkle. Well, won't take you long to get that back. <sighs> I mean, I can do it behind here. You know, fielding off all the saddles that are coming on to me. But when it comes to someone that you think you might fancy... He's well got to you, hasn't he? Well, that's just it. I don't know, do I? It's like me... Feelers have gone all rusty from not being used. Right, well, one way to polish them up. Give them a call. Oh. Wait, you're gonna have to dip your toe in the water sooner or later, kid. No. No, it's too late. I've blown it. Any luck? No. What exactly were you doing? I told you. OK, there's no point arguing about it. We've got to work out what to do next. How exactly did you leave it with him? I told him that he could ride round for a bit before he came in. So that's what he must be doing. Did you tell him he has to stay on this street? I didn't tell him exactly where he had to be. Hello. I'm back. Oh, oof. Take her away from me, Michael, please. She's done nothing but bore me about this blooming holiday. There's something wrong. Max is missing. Hi, Jace. Hi, mate. Looks like I've found the problem. Your rads are completely gunged up. Yeah. It's been ages since I've had a good clean up. Do you fancy a cuppa? Oh, do you know what, Kirky? I'd kill for her. Yeah. Hiya, babe. Oh, I've got a surprise for you. Guess who you'll be going to the wedding as? Boy George! What? Prince William's son? That baby? No, not that boy George. Boy George from Culture Club. You know. Come and come and come and come and come and come and Oh, look him up online. You're gonna love it. No milk. I'm buying it to the shop and get some more. Oh, hang on. There's a few other things that we need while you're there. Did you know that Max has gone missing? Really? Yeah, they're all out looking for him. I hope he's okay. I know. There's some right weirdos out there. What's for tea? I'm starving. Mm. Better than them cobbles, isn't it? Yeah. You do wheelies yet? Not really. David, not showing you. You've had this bike nearly two weeks. What? I'll teach you next time. How do you know my mum? We're uh, old friends. Do you know when she's coming back? She's not home. She left on Christmas Day. 
to look after a poorly friend. Mm. Do you miss her? I reckon she'll be back soon, mate. Go on, show me your moves. Yeah, he's wearing his school uniform, so it's a red jumper, a white shirt and grey pants. Eight, Coronation Street. OK, thank you. Bye. I'm going to pass out all of his details and then send someone round. Look, I'll tell everyone to keep an eye out. All right, thanks, Kevin. I'm sure they'll turn up, mate. They usually do. He's right, you know. It's only been 20 minutes. I'll tell you where he might be. When I picked him up, he asked if he could cycle around the school playground. I said, no, maybe he's gone back there. OK, well, uh, why don't you go and check him? Yeah, yeah, I'll shiver your mum up. She's just putting some warmer clothes on. Yeah, I'll stay in and wait for the police, so in case he comes home. Do you think I've done the right thing? Bringing the police, I mean. And why not? Where's that Callum's going? I was just thinking that. It's just a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Just after I dob him in, he goes missing. Well, you were warned. But then again, if he has been arrested, how can it be him? Unless Kylie did it. Uh, it's not like Max to go from a stranger. But why don't we go to Callum's place, yeah? But she'd rink me. I mean, if she did take him, I mean, she wouldn't let me go through this. Are you absolutely sure about that? It's going to be getting dark soon. OK, let's have another look round the streets before the police get here. Can we go home now? I have just got here. Yeah, but it's going to get dark soon. You're not scared of that, are you? No. What's your problem, then? They'll be wondering where I am. Who will? David. What's so special about him? He's like my dad. You have to stand on your own two feet in this world. You can't rely on anyone. You said you'd get me back by tea. Do you want to be big and strong? Yeah. That's why I'm here, son. I'll show you how it's done. You've got to be kidding me. What? Boy George, I'm not going as him. Why not? Well, have you seen him? Well, what's wrong? He looks fabulous. If you think I'm walking you down the aisle like that... I've put deposit on the costume now. No way. I look stupid. He was Mr Cool in the 80s. I'd rather wear my school uniform. Oh, ah, no! Please, what's happened? The nut come off. Come on, can you fix it? Just... Yeah, right, I'm all right. Just pass me that, will you? Get that. Oh, sorry. Where's our Janine? Mm, she's still at work. Arlene, love! Hello? Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Mm. How are you, Craig? Fine, Gran. Oh, let me have a look at you. Absolutely salt. Blimey, Beth, he's a bit of all right. Yeah, yeah. 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 aren't you going to introduce us? Well, if you like. Uh, this is my sister, Arlene. And this is my mum, Nancy. Night. This is Jason. Jason? I thought it was Kirk. No, he's just the builder. Oh, yeah, it's Kirk. Are my ears burning? Did you find anything? No. Hello? It's police. No, he's still not turned up. I thought you were sending somebody round. I'll never forgive myself if anything happens. Oh, he's here. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> I've been to the Red Wreck with Callum. Come here. He got me a burger. Let's get you inside. See you, Max. Bye. Sorry. Um, actually, he's, he's just turned up. Look, tell the police to come anyway, David. I wouldn't. No, we'll be fine. Thank you. you no, thank I you. Will... Bye. Oh. Do you know, I don't know what you think you're playing at. Just be careful, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, smart move. I didn't do it for you. We've got a lot to talk about. That booze at the end of the street. I reckon I can fit you in later on. Do you know what? We could get you arrested. Half seven, on your own. You don't have to do this. Yeah, I do.
I just found that in the back of my world all for you, mate. Oh, uh, what is it? The shell suit jacket. <laughs> I thought you needed something to wear for this wedding. You actually used to wear this? Uh, excuse me, these was all the rage in the 80s. Yeah, well, it's giving me a migraine just looking at it. Hey, you'll be uh, squirming yourself in 30 years' time when you look back at some of the stuff you used to wear. Oh! <laughs> He's right. Everybody laughs at fashions of the past, but nobody laughs at fashions of the present. Uh, with one or two exceptions. Uh, watch it, you. Officer Tully, reporting for duty, ma'am. Even though I've put a hard day's grafting at the factory, please don't let that make you feel guilty. Well, you can always look for a replacement if the job's too much for you. I'm joking. I'm not. Yes, Kevin. Quite please, Sean. Sure. I'm assuming you don't want me in that. <laughs> Actually, Luke, I think we've got cross wires. I'm, um, I'm going to be going to the wedding on my own. OK. Any particular reason? Well, it's just a bit soon, isn't it, to be going public? Yeah, well, I thought everyone knew. <laughs> My parents don't. The last thing I need is them giving me the third degree, asking if I'm sure about it. Yeah, not that you're ashamed of me or anything, no? No, I'm not. Of course I'm not. Well, it's still early days for us, isn't it? Why put ourselves through all that hassle when... Nothing might come of it. And then I've got Liam to think about and all. You know, he's been through a lot. I need to put him first. I don't want him worrying that everything's just going to change again. Thanks for the lot of confidence. Oh, don't be like that. Luke, I really do like you, and I want it to work between us, but... No, 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 no. I get where you're coming from. Seriously? Mm -hmm. I'm cool. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Right, I'm off. Don't forget to bring him. Oops. Ring you? Thanks, Eva. Mom. You what, love? Oh, oh, fine, fine. I've heard a lot about you, Chesney. All good, I hope. I, I trust you're looking after me favourite great-grandchild. Mm. Mm, I do my best. Don't worry about having to live in this dump. You'll soon be moving up the ladder. Hey, you. Let's the dump. He's shooting up now, isn't he, Craig? He's got the look of me Uncle Harold before the drops he took him. What's that? You'll know if you ever get dropsy, lad. Hot dogs all right for everyone. Hot dogs? Well, we thought we'd have, like, you know, finger food, so we can move about and talk. I like to sit still when I'm eating. Hot dogs are fine, Kirk. Is Jason joining us? I bet you like a nice hot dog, don't you, Jason? Size of them muscles. No, love, I've got to go. Meet my girlfriend. She had the jackpot, didn't she? Can we uh, settle up tomorrow, Jace? Yeah, no sweat, Jess. Right, guys. You enjoy yourselves. I'll see you later. Thanks, love. Take yeah. care. You know where we are if you change your mind, Jason. Mum! You two will behave. That is no way to speak to your grandmother. I don't care. Hey, we're not the only ones to jump to conclusions. Anybody could have made that mistake. Let's get one thing straight. Kirky is the best thing that's ever happened to me. <clears throat> uh, I don't see you with anyone decent since that love attendant walked out on you. <laughs> It with me walked out on him. She has got a point, though, Harley. You can pipe down. Right. Why don't I just get everyone a drink, shall I? Yeah, good idea. I'll help you. <sighs> Sorry. Then let's all start again, shall we? Yeah. Well, no wonder you're in a bad mood. What are you going to do? I have no idea. Anyway, what do you care? I do care. Of course I do. It breaks my heart seeing what's happened to you and Steve. I like the look of him. It was nice feeling attractive again. Well, you've got to move on sometime. So, you're turning your nose up at me vintage jacket, then? No, I just don't have the personality to bring it off, mate. Well, you'd be the centre of attention. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> oh, well, I'll leave you in peace. See ya. It was a nice thought. See you, Kev. Luke, thank you for not saying that I didn't want you at the wedding. You know, I'm worried that it put pressure on us and all. I just want to take it slow, don't we, and have a bit of fun. OK. You made your point, I get it. Do you want another drink? If you like. Or we could just go back to yours. Well, who can resist an offer like that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> There's a young lady through there whose heart is breaking because of you. Really? 
Yes. A client of hers wants to take her out. I mean, she's wavering. Hoping for a sign from you, but she don't get it. Has she told you to say this? No. And if she knew, she'd kill me. This might be your last chance, Steve. What's with the 80s theme, then? We thought it'd be a bit of fun, didn't we, Kirk? Yeah, it'd be a laugh. It's a free country, I suppose. <laughs> what about the big do in the country with swans and violins? Yeah, you always wanted that. Mm -hmm. Even as a kid, you used to dance around the room to swan lake. Oh. <laughs> we thought it was a waste of money. You couldn't afford it, you mean? We were getting there. I was looking forward to them swans. Was it you that put this 1980s nonsense into her head? No, it wasn't. We decided together. I'll, uh, get us some more drinks. Mm, I'll help you, babe. Oh, I'll have one. I'll come and get some of these. Uh, How are you getting on at school, yeah, Craig? Well, right. Stop moaning. It's about time you started shaving, isn't it? <laughs> Talking about money, mm -hmm. I want you to know. I've left everything to you. You're the only one that's ever worried about me. The others aren't getting a penny. Oh, thanks. There'll be a fair bit left after my funeral expenses are paid for. Hmm? But keep this between ourselves. I don't want the others to. Mum's hmm. word. Did you see that coming? Hmm, I had a good idea. She says it to me every time. She hasn't even got any money. We'll just have to humour her. Al, come and get some food down your neck. This is my family, Chez. Jump now if you don't like it. Well, you've met my mother. Mm. Seems to me like we're made for each other. <laughs> Look, why don't you go in and give it one more shot? You know, just ask him straight where you stand. Go on. Pint of lager. Not seen you before. Steve, is it all right if I have tomorrow night off? Yeah, sure. I know I'm on the road to but... No, it's all right. I shall arrange cover. What? Well, it's just... someone's asked me out. Yeah, sure, I'm saying. I hope it goes well. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm really happy for you. Louis says, have you got any nails? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee, Agnes. <laughs> oh. It's Ali. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm Agnes. Haven't you got a bit of cake to go with it? Uh, no, I've got biscuits. Biscuits. Oh, she's a fussy I don't think much to the service. Make do with a biscuit and belt up, will you? Where are we sleeping, Beth? Uh, the boys are two doors down at number nine, and the girls are all sharing here. Well, but when you say sharing, what... Is... You'll have your own room, don't worry. You can have our crakes. You have changed the sheets. Well, why would I do that? We're all tinkers, it's all the same germs. Because I've changed them, what do you take me for? Black, no sugar, Nancy. Uh, white. Oh, work. I'm not doing very well here. We're tricky beggars, Kirk, till you get to know us. <laughs> Don't take it to so heart. You like this with everyone. Exactly. Really? Yeah. They wouldn't even talk to you if they didn't like you. I think I might go now, actually. It's early, isn't it? Yeah, but I've got some homework to finish. I've packed a bag for you, love. Yeah, I might go as well. Yeah, I'm me, yeah. There's your milk, Nancy. Oh. Don't forget your hottie, Kirky. I don't want you catching chill for wedding. So much for a family get-together. Don't ever do a thing like that again. You have no idea what you're messing with. What am I supposed to do? Just sit back and watch you tear my family apart? Your family? This is my son you can't even look after. Any psycho could have walked off with him this afternoon. A psycho did walk off with him this afternoon. Today was a warning. You crossed me again. You know, I'm sorry your stash ended up going down the toilet. <laughs> you think I would have kept it out the other day? I know Carly's staying with you. But where is she, then? No idea. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>
I've not seen her in over a week, and that's the truth. Oh, hi. Yeah, it, it's Michelle Connor. Hi. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks, yeah. Um, listen, I was just wondering if that offer of a drink was still on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 7.30 is great. Okay, I look forward to it. See you, bye. All right, if you've not seen Kylie, how come I found one of her earrings in your flat? <laughs> wow. I never said I hadn't seen her. We spent Christmas night together. She stayed boxing day and the day after. Ali got a wink of sleep. Don't know where she finds the energy. Then I woke up when she was gone. No, no. So you haven't heard from her since? No. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. You pull another stunt like that again, and she won't be the only person around here gone missing. I'm gonna find her. If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna get her clean, and I'm gonna bring her home. Not if I find her first. After the dramatic end to the last series, what's next for Broadchurch? ITV's award-winning drama returns next. <laughs>